Well, generally speaking, the, the steps for an investigation are a referral to a federal agency or to the U.S. Attorney's Office, that is the Federal Prosecutor's Office itself. If it's referred to the U.S. Attorney, they'll get an agency involved to do some legwork, uh, interview people, obtain records, things like that, and then report back to the U.S. Attorney. They will together decide if this is a prosecutable case or one that they think they can obtain some indictments or that people are, are could be deemed guilty of and presuming it goes forward from there you have agents who will go out and follow up with uh, other legwork such as investigation or excuse me and interviews and further information gathering it could involve uh, the use of uh, informants um, sources, confidential sources, or it simply might be more of a paper case such as a white collar case. A paper trail is sometimes left where there's a transaction of um, uh, real estate transactions, uh, banking documents, things like that. Once the, the interviews are obtained, documents are gathered, uh, the U.S. Attorney will tighten the circle, so to speak, as far as deciding who's going to be a target of the investigation and who's not. Uh, interviews will then specifically be made as, as to people who uh, are targets or are deemed to be targets. Some U.S. Attorney's Offices, some people in the U.S. Attorney's Offices will send out what's referred to as a target letter, which simply tells a person that uh, they're a target of the investigation, they're invited to come before the grand jury usually that will, or most usually, that will prompt that person to hire counsel who will then contact the U.S. Attorney's Office and that's when you have the opportunity to go in pre-indictment to talk to the prosecutor to see if there's something that you can do to try to head that off or at least see what's coming at your client.